software developers are always blown away by how easy it is to send off text messages using the AWS simple notification service. If that's something that you need to do, well, I'll get you up and running with SNS in less than 10 minutes. I'll show you how to set things up in AWS, how to expedite the provisioning of a phone number to send text messages with. I'll show you how to create a simple Lambda function inside of AWS in Python, and I'll show you how to deploy it and very, very quickly and very, very easily start sending off text messages to phone numbers. Now, how do you do it? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to mosey on over to the simple notification service. Then on that page, if you don't have anything there, you just have to click that start with an overview link and forget about the overview. We're going to jump right into the coding here. Just click on text messaging SMS. There's a little bit of footwork that you have to do here. One of the things you have to do is you have to create an origination ID. That's the phone number from which the text messages are going to go out to people from. Now, a little bit of a caveat here. In Canada, you can pay a dollar and get a phone number provisioned immediately. In the United States, it takes 50 days and you've got to provide a bunch of credential information. If you're in a rush to get going, what I highly suggest is that you register for that American number, but get a product like Hushed for your cell phone and register a burner number, a Canadian phone number, and use a Canadian originator and then text back and forth from your app, from the Canadian number to your phone that's using the Canadian burner. It'll allow you to start doing text messages and testing your applications in the next 10 minutes rather than having to wait those 15 days before the originator, originator ID is provisioned for you. So, okay, I'm going to create that originator ID. Super easy to use. As I said, you got to specify your country. I am in the 51st state, also known as Canada. I'm going to select text messaging. I'm just going to ask for a local number and I'm not going to tell them that I'm going to be spamming people. I'm going to have less than 5,000 messages a month. I'm going to use a standard long code number, accept the default and click that beautiful gold button that says request and boom, all of a sudden I've now got my Canadian phone number, my originator ID. So the next thing you need to do is actually send out a text message. Just make sure that things are working. So go back to the SNS page, click on text messaging and you'll have an option to publish a text message. Click on that link, say it's going to be a promotional test and also click on this add phone number. This is going to add a phone number into your sandbox. Now this phone number is going to have to be verified. So you're going to type in a phone number here. I'm going to type in mine and I'm going to specify the language. And when I do that and I say add phone number, uh, verification code is going to get sent to that phone. I now need to take a look at my phone type in the verification code. And once that verification code is put in, that is now a valid number that I can use to test SNS. When your application is ready, you can ask to be taken out of the sandbox and then you can publish your text messages to anyone. But I'm just going to type in hello world because that seems appropriate. I'm going to say publish message. Oh, I'm going to put the number in properly. Sorry about that. Click publish message and I'm going to wait a little bit. And when I look at my phone, I can see that I've now got a hello world message. So this system, this infrastructure is currently working. But what I want to do is I want to do this programmatically. I want to have a Lambda function that can call on this SNS service and send out text messages. Now, in order to do that, I've got to do a little bit of security here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the IAM tool and I'm going to set up a brand new role. I'm going to call this the SNS Lambda role. And what this role is going to do is it's going to give permissions to a Lambda function. So this Lambda function is going to have the rights to make SNS publish calls. So I set that up. Once that is done, I then go in and take a look at the type of policy that I want to add to this resource. I actually want to have a, a full all access to SNS. That might be a bit rich, but it's going to work for me. So I'll say, hey, the policy that I want is all access to SNS 
publishing. I'll do that. I will then give that policy a quick name, SNS Lambda policy. And now that policy is set up. That policy is now attached to that role. And now I can go in and create my Lambda expression. And when I create the Lambda expression, attach that role to the function. So here we go. I'm now going to go and create a Lambda function. I'll come in here to say create a function. I keep saying Lambda expression because I'm a Java developer at heart, but I should say Lambda function. And what are we going to do? We're going to author this from scratch. I'm not going to use a blueprint or a container image. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to specify that it is Python 3.13 exam results is the name. Moving on, there's some other information I have to provide, namely, what is the role? You can see SNS Lambda comes up right away. That is the role that I created that allows a Lambda function to submit and publish to an SNS environment. So that's the rule I just created. And then I want to be able to call this function from a URL. So I'm going to click on that enable function URL option. I'm going to configure cores because well, I like a good cores light every once in a while. And then I'm going to say no authentication type. Anybody should be able to call on this Lambda function. With that done, I think it's just time to go in and hack out some code. So I'll say save function and boom, here we are. And it's even given us a little bit of fun little Python code to write. I'm actually just going to test this right away. Like click on the link. Well, what do we see? We see a, a little bit of a message there that says, hey, hello from Lambda. So we know that's working. Okay, a very quick interruption here. A couple of things. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please like and subscribe. I don't know why, but the YouTube algorithm hates me for some reason. So every like, every comment, every subscription goes a long way in just shaking up the algorithm. And maybe some of my videos will get more than 500 views. A couple of other things. I've been working hard with Darcy to Clute. I helped her publish the Scrum Master Certification Guide recently. If you're interested in Scrum, getting certified and advancing your career in that sort of project management arena, check that out. Also, I've got my latest book coming out, Hibernate Made Easy version four. If you sign up for my newsletter, I'm going to be raffling a couple of copies of that off when it finally gets released. And lastly, I've been working really hard to help people enhance their career, enhance their resume and get AWS and Scrum certified. So if you check out certificationexam.guru, you'll see a whole bunch of practice exams that are designed to really help you hone your skills and get certified on the first try in Scrum, Solution Architect, uh, DevOps, Cloud Practitioner, even Java certification exams. So if you've got a second, please check that out. And if you want to get AWS certified, that is definitely the place to go. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Let's get Let's get back into the DevOps. So we can now dig a little deeper and start writing some code. A couple of things I need to import. Boto 3 OS. I'm going to specify that I actually want to use that SNS service. So hold that as a, a variable. I'm not creative, so I'll call it SNS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off a request to SNS to uh, my phone number, 289-314-5715. That has to be one in your sandbox. I'm going to specify the message as well. That's going to fire off the message. Then in the body of the response, I'm just going to print out a little bit of information, including something about the response that we got from the message, namely the message ID. And that should be it. That's all of the code. Now, I do have a more advanced tutorial where you can pass in the phone number and the message as query parameters to this function so that it's not always going to the same phone number. But right here, I know you don't want me to go over in depth. You just want to see this working. I know you're smart enough to take it from here. So here we go. I'm going to click that blue deploy button. Once that's deployed, I'm going to click on that URL uh, again. Don't worry about the JSON parsing. The response just isn't pure, proper format that's getting sent back. But we're getting the message and the message just says, hey, a message was sent to this phone number. And there is the ID. And hey, if I bring up my phone, I'll show you a screenshot 
there you go. That's the message sent right to my phone. Now, there you go. That's how easy it is to send text messages with AWS and the SNS service.